Hi, my name is Nick, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Cassandra Castaway. So Cassandra Castaway is one of uh, my favorite songs that I've ever written. It's a song off the album Kleos, which is the first album that my band, my first band, Picture Atlantic, put out. And um, I'm going to teach you the riff and the basic chords to the song. Um, this song is a little tricky at first, but then once you stick with it, it starts to get easier. So we're going to start with just a really basic run through the riff, the first riff of the song, and then we're going to talk about the chords that happen later. Okay, so I'm going to play the riff one time just so you can hear it, and then I'm going to quickly move through the different shapes. All right, so that's the first riff. So we're gonna start with our first shape, which is an A major shape. I'm gonna take my middle finger and I'm gonna put it on the sixth string of the fifth fret. And that's gonna give us an A root note. Then I'm going to begin by resetting up to here and sliding in to that note. You can slide from the second or the third fret, it doesn't really matter. As long as you get that slide, I like to slide from the second fret. Then my ring finger is going to hold down the fourth string on that same fifth fret. So it's going to sound like this. Next, I'm going to take my pointer finger and I'm going to bring it down onto the fourth fret of the fourth string. So you should get that note right there. Then I'm going to do what's called a pull off, where I'm going to pull my pointer finger off this fourth fret to give myself an open note, which is a D. Once I've done that, I'm going to move to a G major shape. So I'm going to slide into the first note. And once I pull off, my pointer finger is going to land on the third fret of the sixth string. And that's going to give me a G major. Then I'm going to take my ring finger and I'm going to drop it here on the fourth fret. Of the, of the fourth string so that I get that last note that I just did the pull off from. And finally, my pinky is gonna land back on the fifth fret of the fifth string. So that I get that note. So in total, it should sound like this. And then we're going to go back to the very beginning and play that root, that A shape one more time. But instead of pulling off and going to the G, we're going to pull off and go to the F sharp, which is on the second fret of the sixth string, like this. We're going to be playing an open, more open voicing of F sharp minor. So that would be F sharp minor. But what we're going to do is we're just going to plant our first finger here on the sixth string. Our ring finger is going to stay up. Our pinky is going to land here on the fourth fret of the fourth string. And our middle finger is going to land on the second fret of the third string. And then finally, last chord is just a simple E minor. And that is really, really easy. It's your first finger and your middle finger are just going to hold down the second fret on the fifth string and the second fret on the fourth string. Really, really easy. And you can strum that open if you need to. Okay. 
So I'm going to play the riff one more time. And if you need to, you can rewind and watch um, how to shape those other chords. Okay, so that's the first third of the song right there. So there will be singing over that part and that lasts for quite a bit. But then what we're going to do is we're going to transition into sort of the middle part of the song. And this is going to be a little bit more strummy. It's going to be a little less picky and a little more strummy. So what happens is you play the riff at the very beginning. There's that F sharp minor and then E minor. Then we're going to slide into a B minor shape. So this one is an easy chord. Our middle finger is going to be on the seventh fret of the sixth string. Our ring finger is going to be on the fourth string of that same seventh fret. And then our pinky is going to be on the third string of that same seventh fret. So it's going to look kind of like this. It's a tight little kind of almost like jazz chord like that. So I kind of strum and pick at the same time, and that what that sounds like is this. Kind of as long as you have that groove. It doesn't really matter because I play it differently live almost every single time. There's not like one right way to play it. Okay, and then we're going to slide up into an A minor shape. So I'm going to slide up a whole step or two frets. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of begin to separate our fingers a little bit. So the middle finger leads and the middle finger is going to land on that A root note. That's the sixth string of the uh, on the fifth fret. And we're going to move from the B minor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to then let my pinky land here on the sixth fret on the third string. And my pointer finger is going to land on the fourth string of the fourth fret. So this is what the chord sounds like. It's another kind of jazzy sounding chord. I'm using my middle finger to choke the A string. If, if you decide to open that up a little bit, it's fine because that's just going to, you know, you're basically droning an A note underneath the root note. It's going to sound fine, but just for the purpose of kind of how I play it, I usually use a slightly tighter formation. So it's got kind of a, a crisper, sort of cleaner uh, feel to the chord. So we'll start on the B minor. So then what I'm doing is I'm using my ring finger, which has been kind of not doing anything, and I'm dropping it down onto the fourth string of the fifth fret and kind of just doing that little like riff or, or melody, whatever you want to call it. And then back to the E minor. Sometimes, too, in that riff, you'll hear there's an electric guitar doing kind of a variation of what we're going to be playing. But on the acoustic, usually what I would do is I would just take my pinky finger and kind of accent by adding an extra note onto the E minor. And that is going to be on the fourth fret of the fourth string. So now that I have that, um, the rest of the song is going to be really, really easy because that is basically going to transition us into the last half, or uh, sorry, sorry, the last third of the song, not last half, or I guess last half of the song. 
which is kind of that big buildup that happens at the end. So we're going to play through, starting from the B minor. And then the transition chord is A7, and A7 sounds like this. So it's, a, it's basically an A chord, but you're just removing a note from it. So what you're going to do is your pointer finger is going to be on the fourth string on the second fret and your middle finger is going to be on the second string of the second fret and you're going to get this chord and then you'll go right back to the e minor and the e minor begins the chord progression that happens at the end of the song my cassandra cast away so this is a B minor right here, except that instead of doing a bar chord, which you could do, I'm not barring, I'm only holding down the root note, which is the fifth string on the second fret. So you, so I'm letting the high E ring out and it gives it kind of a more open sound. And then back to the A7 that I just showed you. but I'm adding another little accent note onto the A7, and that is with my ring finger. So my ring finger is gonna land on the second string of the third fret. So you should get that note, and it'll sound like this. Back to E minor. There's that B minor. And there's that A7. Eventually you're going to land back on the E minor. Oh, to me, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's that kind of, I guess, I don't know, um, descending sort of part of the, of that last half of the song. And we are going to strum down seven times. One. And again, I'm doing that little accented note there on the A7. And then at the very end, you go right back to that riff. And then you strum out on the E minor, and that is the end of the song. So thanks for watching, um, and thank you to probably Ricky for suggesting this song uh, on Twitter. Really appreciate that. If you have any other songs that you'd like to hear me do a tutorial for, you can leave a comment below in the video. Or if you have questions about the song, feel free to uh, leave those comments below. But thanks for watching, and thank you so much for supporting my music. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.